Meanwhile, across the U.S., the CDC reports 33% of Americans are now fully vaccinated. And as more and more Arizonans also get the vaccine, some people are wondering when is the pandemic no longer a pandemic? Team 12's Josh Sanders asked that very question to the experts. Hey, those numbers are encouraging, but answering the question of when this pandemic is over isn't simple. COVID-19 has impacted the entire world. Countries shut down, economies slowed, hospitals at times overwhelmed, and virtual classrooms for students a new norm. March 11th, 2020, the World Health Organization deeming the virus a pandemic. Pandemic, by the very nature, is uh, something that's very global. Dr. Eric Finkelding is an epidemiologist and senior fellow at the Federation of Scientists and says with the hope of COVID-19 vaccines, the world is primed for this pandemic to end, but it may be a while. This pandemic will end sooner in certain places, but overall it will go well into next year because much of the world still has not had any vaccines. Vaccines have made a difference. 34% of Arizonans are now fully vaccinated, still a ways from reaching that 70 to 80% needed for herd immunity, and cases have steadied. We don't want to give a false sense that the whole thing is over. We can just open up and get back to normal, but we also don't want to continue the sense that we're still in the emergency. New variants of the virus are still spreading. We've clearly seen the tragedy playing out in India. Unless we help the rest of this world, and the pandemic where they are. The pandemic is not truly over for us, even if cases are still very low for us right now. Dr. Fingelding says the hope is as the world gets closer to herd immunity, COVID-19 will become an endemic, like the seasonal flu requiring a seasonal booster. And as for when Arizona will reach herd immunity, ADHS Director Dr. Kara Chris says hopefully soon, as long as people continue to get vaccinated. We're hoping that we'll be able to reach herd immunity by the end of summer, beginning of fall, and return back to some kind of normalcy. Josh Sanders, 12 News.